On the day of the marathon, I woke up at like 5.30, like a champ, and rode the first bus of the day to the starting line. It was kind of cool and chilly, but that's okay. I mean, I was decked out. I had my hat and sunglasses for the sun, a bandana in case I got sweaty, the t-shirt and my race number, toe caps to prevent blisters, and just to be safe and prevent chafing, I applied some body glide to my nipples so I can glide. When I got there, I was feeling pretty ready. All right, I still have to apply my Organic sunscreen, baby! Psst. But it got on my sunglasses, and then I couldn't see. So I had to go to the help desk for some alcohol wipes to wipe it off. Okay, now I'm ready. Good timing too, since they just called us to the starting line. So I start heading over, and I kid you not, a whole schwack of people with bunny ears started lining up. Uh, okay? So I lined up behind one of them, holding a sign that said, Sub 330. Huh. <clears throat> Sir? It's negative 27. 3, 2, 1, go! The race was on. For the first five minutes, I was doing pretty swell. I stuck close to the guy with bunny ears, but as the race went on, more and more people started passing me. Until halfway through the race, when I hit the wall. Now, you might be thinking, whoa, 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 hold on. What wall are we talking about? Are we talking about this wall or maybe this one? And I'm like, nah. I'm thinking the same wall this guy hit. I mean, what are they doing? Are they crying? If they are, it's probably because they didn't have any food left. <sighs> Look, I thought that I was promised at these checkpoints on the race, I would be given gummy snacks. So where are my gummy snacks? All they had at the checkpoints were electrolytes and energy gels. You see this energy gel? It's too sweet and syrupy. There was no solid food. It was horrible. Now, I was already sick of slurping on these gel packs. So when I hit the wall halfway through the race, my legs started failing me. Instead of running majestically like this, I ended up more like this. Look, I wasn't even tired. My breathing was normal. My heart rate was also normal, but my legs just didn't want to move. After a long struggle, I finally crossed the finish line. My feet were aching. My inner thighs were chafing. Wait, I thought my nipples were supposed to. Chafing, inner thighs, nipples, are less common. Dang it! <laughs> but wait, what's this smell at the finish line? Is that chips, granola bars, juice, waffles, hamburgers, smoothies, chips, bananas, apples, and <gasps> chips? And you're telling me it's free? <laughs> Wait, I already paid for this, didn't I? Not gonna lie though, I took so much food. You were only supposed to take like one of everything that they were handing out, but I took like 10 of everything and pocketed the rest in my pockets. Cause I already paid for all of this. In the end, I finished the race in around five and a half hours. And out of 800 people who went to the marathon, that places me at around 750th place. 750th! <laughs> I mean, not like I was hoping to do better than that. <laughs>
Now remember, basically anyone can join a marathon. Old people, people in wheelchairs, and this one dude I remember wearing an inflatable dinosaur costume who passed me halfway through the race. Is this a joke to you? I tried my best, okay? <laughs> but it's alright, I can do better next year. <laughs> what, what? Oh, marathon? Uh, yeah, I totally would have joined, but oh no. Look at that, there's nothing I can do if it's cancelled. <laughs> Phew.